as you can see, the lifeline is divided into two polar extremes, fear and love. Fear is in the negative energy spectrum, and love is in the positive energy spectrum. Duh. Excuse me? No, duh is a product of fear. No, I mean, I, I know what to do. I just, I don't get this. You can't just lump things into two categories. Things aren't that simple. The lifeline is divided that way. Well, life isn't that simple. I mean, who cares if Ling Ling returns the wallet and keeps the money? It has nothing to do with either fear or love. Fear and love are the deepest of human emotions. Okay, but you're not listening to me. There are other things that need to be taken into account here, like the whole spectrum of human emotion. You can't just lump everything into these two categories and then just deny everything else. If you don't complete the assignment, you'll get a zero for the day. Donald, let's go over this again. What exactly did you say to Ms. Farmer? I'll tell you what he said. He asked me to forcibly insert the lifeline exercise card into my anus. <laughs> Whoa, Elizabeth. A little hostile there. Maybe you should be the one in therapy, then Mom and Dad can pay someone $200 an hour to listen to all your thoughts, so we don't have to. <laughs> Please. Did you just call me a fuck out? Hey, Elizabeth, that's enough. You can go suck a fuck. Oh, please tell me, Elizabeth, how exactly does one suck a fuck? What the fuck, ass? <laughs> so the fact that they burn the money is ironic. They just want to see what happens when they tear the world apart. Frank? Yes, the giant bunny rabbit. What? I don't recall him ever having mentioned a rabbit. Donnie is experiencing what is commonly called a daylight hallucination. <laughs> What do I do to learn how to fight sun? Violence is a product of fear. Learn to truly love yourself. Okay. Okay, get yourself up here. Okay. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Um, how much are they paying you to be here? Uh, excuse me? What is your name, son? Gerald. Well, Gerald, I think you're afraid. Are you telling us this stuff so we can buy your book? Because I gotta tell you, if you are, that was some of the worst advice I ever heard. You see how sad this is? You want your sister to lose weight? Tell her to get off the couch, stop eating Twinkies, and maybe go out for field hockey. You know what? No one ever knows what they want to be when they grow up. You know, it takes a little, little while to find that out. Right, Jim? And you. Yeah, you. You think of some jerk shoving your head down the toilet. Well, you know what? Maybe you should lift some weights or uh, take a karate lesson, and the next time he tries to do it, you kick him in the balls. Do you see this? Right? This is an anger prisoner, a textbook exam prisoner. Do you see the fear, people? This boy is scared to death of the truth. Son, it breaks my heart to say this, but I believe you are a very troubled and confused young man. I believe you were searching for the answers in all the wrong places. You're right, actually. I am. I'm, I'm pretty troubled and I'm, I'm pretty confused, but I just... And I'm afraid, really, really afraid. Really afraid, but I... I, I think you're a fucking antichrist. Oh, 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 
What was his name? Donnie. Donnie Darko. Oh. 